I just got home from the barber shop and I'm pissed as fuck right now. So your boy, don't ask why I'm sure there's in the barber shop. I just took it off because she was hairy and I didn't want to wear it. So <laughs> it's not like I cut my hair without a shirt or else I have hair all over me. I got a package that's now from DHL and of course, since they're from DHL, they are Fugazi. So let's get this unboxing real quick. Oh shit. <laughs> the blade got stuck. That's the bottle I keep all my blades in. All right, so I'm actually gonna use one of the old blades that I don't use anymore because they're trash and for some reason, the corners aren't as sharp, so I don't like that. Oh, wow. The first company to actually box the shoes. Or the box itself. If there's a box under that, I don't even know. I guess we'll find out. I think they're either Belugas or the Triple Whites. I don't know what company sent me these. They're either the Perfect Kicks or the one. Oh, look. They actually did box the other box. They're either the Belugas. So either Perfect Kicks sent me the, the Triple Whites or Top Kicks sent me the Belugas. Damn, damn, this thing is stuck in there. All right. And they are the Belugas from Top Kicks. So that means the Triple White should be coming in next week for sure. And these are Fugazi. And to start off, there's really nothing wrong with this box. It looks fine. The box tag, it actually looks really good. I feel like it's, the print is too good though. I feel like it should be a little bit more like blurry and glitchy, I guess you could say. Let's look inside though. And here are the shoes, but the shoes can't, oh wow, they even put a keychain in there. But look, they, the shoes came like, usually it's supposed to wrap, be wrapped in between and stuff. I mean, obviously they're fake, they don't matter. It doesn't matter. And of course, it came with a little foot locker receipt, but if you know your foot locker seats, that's definitely not what they're supposed to look like. Oh, that is dope. Little ass easy box, that's lit as fuck, dog. There's more shit in here, I don't know what's in there, but we'll check that out after. This one's not too bad. The boost is a little too shiny. It's supposed to be more flat. Color might be slightly off. Kind of hard to tell on camera because the orange on these kind of like throws you off. The laces, they look all right, except for the lace tips, lace tip. Oh, the lace, tip, lace tips look off. Well, there was a name for that. What? what? The lace tips. Lace tips? That's yeah. what they're called. No, there was a different name for that. For the gold ones, are called, uh, Lace tips. <laughs> but now you guys know, Beluga mask coming soon. I'll be doing a comparison on each of these shoes. Obviously, this was the real one right here. This is the fake one. They're both size eight. So I will be doing a comparison on our sneakers. So by the time this video is up, you guys probably already saw it. But if you see this after the fact, then I mean, if you guys see this and didn't know about the video, then go ahead, go ahead and go over to my main channel, which is our sneakers, and the video will be uploaded there. So I'm gonna get my hair cut right now from a barber because it's been a minute, and I really just I'm too lazy to cut my hair today. And, oh shoot, I need to close the garage all the way. Let's see how it goes, and if it's good, then that'll probably be the base, like, that's probably what this vlog will be about, like, that'll be the title, because a lot of people ask me how, what I could do for to get my hair cut, and I'll just, I'll tell them what I want, and then I'll show you guys. All right, so I just got home from the barbershop, and I'm pissed as fuck right now. Excuse my language for all the fucks that are gonna, I'm gonna say right now, but I'm furious, and this is just a lesson learned to, it's just a lesson learned overall, and hopefully you guys will learn from it. Well, I went, I asked the man, if you guys know about haircuts, you guys know, a skin fade. Skin fade is obviously down to the skin, like it is right there, right? That's fine. But I asked for a drop fade, and you guys might not know what that is, but a drop fade is, I gotta show you over here, the hair right here is supposed to go around and back, but not that far down. It's supposed to just go here and then down to there. This man took that, what the f This man took it all the way down here. He might as well just line me up back here and made it just, just line me up right there, bro. You might as well have just done that, because I swear to God, I asked for a fucking drop fade, a drop skin fade, whatever whatever the name is, and the man gave me a fucking mullet. I did not ask for a fucking mullet. Like, that's... Bro, I know mullets are longer, I'm just an exaggeration, but this is just, oh my God. You guys don't understand how fucking mad I am. And I keep looking at the viewfinder, because I can't stop staring at how bad this fucking haircut is. Like the tape up, it's fine right here. And I asked the man, thin, make this, like keep this here for me. And he did, he kept it. And as for it thin, this man rounded it out. I don't know when you ever line, round up a chin strap. That's barely, that, I don't even think, oh, what the fuck? I don't know. 
You just, you're not supposed to do that in my, I don't, in my opinion that just looks terrible. You're supposed to make that square to make that jawline pop. That's the point of the chin strap. And he did the same thing on here, he rounded it out. Maybe you guys can see it better if I do it that way. But, I mean, there he squared it out, but this side it looks, nah, they're both rounded actually. He tried to round, I can tell. And as you guys can see right here, I have little baby hairs. I asked him, keep these baby hairs on the long side. Alright, so I'm trusting the man because he works at a barber shop and it's my boy Johnny's barber shop. I fuck with him heavy. He was actually my barber, but he was booked today, so I, that's why I couldn't book it with him. And I was like, alright, let me just go see how this is going to look. With this barber, I looked him up on Instagram. His few haircuts that he had, they look good. They look fire as hell, actually. I was like, damn, this guy must cut some fire-ass haircuts. So I was like, I'm going to go try him out. I booked an appointment with him online, went to him, told him what everything I told you guys. And this man just, pff, look, if you guys look at the chin strap where it goes up to, it stops right here at the middle of my ear. If you go to the other side, can't really see, but... It goes all the way to the top of my ear, all the way right there, and stop. Like, bro, he didn't even bother blending it in. You're supposed to blend that in the beard. You never leave that, like, get it cut off unless somebody asks you. But even then, that's weird. Like, people will ask you. I've seen it happen one time. I was not even about to tip the man, but I, I didn't want to be that disrespectful. And I, I don't know. I should have actually been honest, but it hurts as a barber when somebody tells you, like, oh, you did this wrong. But some people take it wrong, some people take it the right way. If somebody tells me that, I'll take it as constructive criticism. I can't even say constructive. Constructive criticism. And that's fine with me. I, I would like to learn from my mistakes because I'm still learning as a barber. I'm not saying I'm, I'm not the best barber out there. I wish that would be the greatest thing of ever, but I'm still learning. And constructive criticism is the thing. But I asked them, bring the tape to the long hairs and you can cut the baby hairs. And I did that myself. So next time I go to the barber shop, they can do it easily. And what they do, he went to the baby hairs and that's all he cut. I wanted him to go all the way up to the long hairs. I could do it myself, yeah, but I wanted somebody to edge me up with a razor knife or whatever. And I can't do that myself. I could, but I just cut myself all the time because it's just very difficult. And that's that's mainly the main reason because I knew they can sharp they can sharpen me up nice. They can do basically just use a razor and that's what I want to have that nice like haircut. And I'm going out tonight and I was trying to look Fresh and on point, but this man just fucked my life up. The top is nice. I asked him to cut an inch off, and it's pretty good. It's nice and even now. I hope. I don't even fucking know if it's even. When it looks like it looks, everything looks even. And then he raised this out. He made that blend in pretty nice. I like that. But the fact that, and like, look at the fade right there, guys. I don't. Yeah, if you guys look right there, it's like he couldn't really fade it too well right there. And then the other side is the same exact thing, actually. He couldn't really fade it too well, like right there. It's like he went too far and he fucked up, and it's just like cut off. Bro, I might as well just got a fucking either a mohawk or a mullet instead of asking for I wanted a mohawk and I was going to ask him. I was like, nah, I don't trust anybody. And I was trying to grow these little baby hairs so I can get them, move my line over to the corner exactly. And I mean, he did kind of put it on the corner, but not exactly. And then I... Ah, oh, I'm, so, I'm so pissed off, guys. I just realized he didn't even shave this out, bro. That's crazy. Oh my fucking God, bro. That's crazy. I just realized that. That pisses me off even more because it's not about the money, but the fact that I could have just done it myself and done this shit 10 times better. That's what that's what pisses me off because I know I was going to do it myself and I'm like, I was getting a little lazy. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to go to barber today. Maybe I'll trust the barber. And I tried and that just shit didn't work. So I'm never, never again going to another barber. Cutting my own shit. I don't care if the fade isn't the best. As long as it is what I want it to be, I'm fine with that. But never again never again getting this bullshit never going back to that barber again i'm sorry if you see this video but i just got i had to go on a rant about that bro this is just ridiculous moral of the story stick to your barber do not switch up on him stay true to your barber if you don't if you barely trust somebody then don't go to them but if you see him cutting nice skin like nice cuts and stuff on their instagram and stuff then yeah maybe go try him out if you want a new barber or something i don't know why you would want to do that if you already have a loyal one that you're going to but if you want to go ahead and switch up, make sure they have a lot of pictures on the freaking Instagram or wherever they post their pictures so you can get an idea of what haircut you want from out of all the ones that they cut and then you can go to them. Because this man only had five and I kindly only went to him because I trusted his fade but I didn't think it would stop like this and leave all his long hairs. And I was going to tell him like, yo, this is not what I want on this side. Like you could go up a little higher. But as a barber, knowing like when somebody tells you that's annoying as fuck, and I just, I just didn't want to be annoying, I just want to get out of there. Because I was already pissed when I saw it, I was like, I didn't even care what happened anymore. I'd rather just grow it out again, long, and then I'm going to cut it myself. Like I'm thinking about cutting this right now, but I don't even, like I said, I'm lazy, right? I'm lazy today. I don't feel like taking my time to cut it. And this is already a pretty long fucking message, but stay true to your barbers. Or when you go to barber, show them a picture of exactly what you want, because that's going to be their best way. If they're a good barber, and they know what they're doing, they're going to 
do the right thing for you if you show them a picture. They're gonna get exactly what you what they what you show them if they're a good barber. Anyways, I'm just gonna end the vlog here because I'm that pissed. I just I'll see you guys in the next one.